The robot's philosophy is based around three core ideals, accessibility, iteration, and scaffolding. Accessibility is derived from understanding barriers and making a kit that is approachable to youth from diverse backgrounds. In the context of a kit, examples of barriers are things like fine motor dexterity and spatial thinking skills and visual perception, which a number of youth by no fault of their own have not yet had the opportunity to develop those skills and in fact would be using competitive robotics to do so. Very early on, in what eventually became Robits. One of the experiences that led to Robits existing at all is I was teaching a class and one of the kids just burst into tears and he was barely able to spit out that he just couldn't get the nut onto the screw and he couldn't put the part together. That was the epiphany. Oh, fine motor dexterity is a barrier. And Robits addresses that by using this number 10 hardware that concept led to the idea that, oh, there are other barriers too. What are other barriers? Visual perception is a barrier. Imagine looking at an expert gardener's right greenhouse. You wouldn't be able to identify the plants that are there because you're not used to looking at plants. And for students that are new to robotics, they're not used to looking at parts, and so their eyes and their brain aren't used to seeing the differences. And if they can't see that, then it's difficult for them to be able to move forward and use the parts at hand because they can't tell what's what. When you look at robots, we're subtly using color as an indicator of how a part can be used, where we have the black plastic is indicating structure parts and the gray plastic is indicating what parts are used for motion. For students to be able to develop those spatial thinking skills, it needs to be an approachable pattern. It needs to be that larger hardware, the subtle indicators, the whole patterns that are comprehensible. A beginner can come in and can develop the skills that they need at the rate that helps them feel good and makes them want to do more and become more engaged. After we had understood that the barriers was a core concept and that we needed to set design requirements based off of that, the iteration was actually the next step in the process because the barriers created a list of things to not do, but a list of things to not do does not a kit make. How can a kit promote what students need to be able to do, not just to be successful on the team, but to be successful after they leave the team? Students have busy lives. They have school and they have homework and they have families, and we want our students to be well-rounded individuals with broad interests and what Robits integrates that makes iteration prob possible and promotes problem solving is the idea that changing the characteristics of their robot should be something that can be done quickly so that students have the opportunity to make a lot of changes and understand what's happening. So if you look at features like these cantilevered wheels, pop off one screw, pop a different wheel on, pop that screw back on and see what happens which gives them the option to develop those problem-solving skills and develop their toolbox of how they understand what's really happening. These gear ratios into this gear box are set so that any combination of gears adding up to 80 teeth can fit here. So it's super fast for students to be able to change the ratio. All of the motors are designed so that motors can be removed from the mechanism on board the robot because we want to minimize the amount of disassembly and reassembly that has to happen to make those core changes. And that's what promotes the iteration which drives the problem solving. So the final slice of the robot's core ideals is the concept that a kit should align to a natural progression of youth skill development. And what I mean in that sense, and something that I think is unique about robots and really important is what I call resolution which is the concept that there is an ideal number of varieties of parts. It is possible to have too few. Too few parts means that students don't have the margin that they need to do, engage in the problem solving and engage in the creativity. 
but too many parts is also harmful to the experience and harmful to the environment in the sense that if you have too many parts, then it's overwhelming to develop that visual perception. It's overwhelming to be able to organize what you have. And again, if you can't organize what you have, then you can't find what you have. And if you can't find what you have, you can't use what you have. That concept creates an environment in which risk is low, but reward is high, and it's safe to try things. Robits is a unique educational robotics kit and it will be available by Andy Mark in fall 2023.